Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times.
a reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. valuable addition to the Black Mesa team. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team the Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with Mr. Freeman, 
I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you'd gotten to your hazard suit. We can talk later, Gordon. Agent Foreman, report to Topside Tactical Operations Center. What are you doing still running around up here? Hello, Gordon Freeman. Maybe later, Gordon. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Dr. Kielowski. Durat. Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Yes, I'll be choke on it. Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Big day today, eh, Freeman? Good morning, Gordon. Hold on for one moment. They need you in the test chamber. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. Morning, champ. Hello. What the hell? <laughs> you think
think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. Have you seen my coffee cup? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <sighs> Drat. No toilet paper. Hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Hi. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. 
double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. What's up, Doc? Give me some space, Freeman. Hi, Gordon. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, 
We have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives.
tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the fall drowned. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. Uh. My God, what have we done? Fascinating. Would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. You'll need me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you end the clear. You hear me? Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Go, go, go! I 
I think we have guests. One down and hell if I know how many left. Pardon me, Doc. Get going already. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. Sorry, Freeman. This shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. You feeling lucky? Gordon. Okay, Doc. Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. Okay, Doc. Grab what you gotta grab. Don't fall. My bad, Freeman. Oh, 
see how you like this. Excuse me. Hey, giddy up. I'll stay here and guard this area. All right, let's move. feelings, right? like that. That's chow time though. Man, did you see that shot? I think I just got a promotion. Okay. I'm gonna try to call for help. You gotta get to the admin office upstairs. There's got to be somebody there who can fix this. Come in, anybody. This is Sector C Anomalous Materials. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation. Possible biocontamination. I'm gonna stay here and keep a lookout for anyone else who needs help. Somebody! Anybody!
Ministered.
Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Affirmative. Haven. No. Oh. Well, at any rate, over there's the weapons I spoke of. I've had my fill for excitement today. Um, you're welcome to stay if you want. Wouldn't you like to get one of these blood samples under a microscope? What is that stench? Someone notify me if they see a bathroom, please.
Gordon, is that you? Is it sick? Oh, oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 